now part of our daily lives. But do you know that the headaches, neck pain, back pain, hand, and wrist injuries that you are experiencing may be related to its wrong use? And this is not just because of the wrong positioning of your computer. There are many factors. Let's talk about computer ergonomics. Because we now use our computers every day, let's talk about your posture, your seating, the position of your monitor, keyboard, and other accessories. Let's first focus on your posture. The head and neck should be in line with the torso. The ears should be directly above the shoulders, not bent forward or back. The head, neck, and trunk should all face forward and not twisted. The torso is vertical to slightly reclined. The shoulders should be relaxed and not elevated. The upper arms should not be elevated as well or stretched forward unless supported by your surface. The elbows should be close to the body and not extended forward or outward unless again supported by a work surface or chair armrest. The forearms are approximately parallel to the floor and about 90 to 100 degrees to the upper arm. The wrist and hands in straight alignment to the forearm. The thighs are approximately parallel to the floor while the lower legs approximately perpendicular. There should be sufficient space between the top of the thighs and the computer table platform. The thighs should not be trapped. Rest feet flat on the floor or are supported by a stable footrest. Next will be the seating. The chair should be sturdy and with lumbar support. The seat width and depth should accommodate the specific user. The seat front does not press against the back of the knees and lower legs. And on the other hand, the thighs do not significantly hang off the front edge if the seat pan is too short. The seat should be cushioned and rounded in the front. If you will buy a computer chair, better choose one with adjustable headrest, backrest, armrest, and seat height to allow proper alignment with the work surface. What about the position of the monitor? The top of the screen should be at or below the eye level. There should be sufficient space between the monitor and the user, generally about 18 to 20 inches or an arm's length. If multiple monitors will be used, the position of the primary monitor is directly in front of the user and the other monitors are directly beside it for minimal head movement. Glare from windows and lights should not be reflected on the screen. Adjust your brightness and contrast for comfort. Next is the position of your keyboard and mouse. Hands should be positioned over the keyboard with the elbows near to the torso at an angle of 90 to 100 degrees. Keyboard should be adjusted to a horizontal or slightly negative slope. Keyboard should be located as close to the midline of the body as possible. The mouse should be located right next to the keyboard so it can be operated without reaching. There should not be sharp or hard edges that contact the wrists and hands. What about other accessories? The document holder, if provided, should be placed at about the same height and distance as the monitor screen. Position the telephone close to avoid excessive reaches. If phone and computer will be used at the same time, this may require the use of a headset. The headset 
should have a comfortable fit, not too tight or too loose. Some additional reminders. If laptops will be used as the primary computer, they should be set up using the same ergonomic principles as desktop computers. A separate keyboard is recommended. Computer tasks should be organized in a way and provided an opportunity for breaks or recovery pauses while at the computer workstation. Prolonged sitting or standing should be avoided. Lighting levels must be adjusted for different tasks. Brighter lights should be provided for paperwork and lower lighting should be used for general computer work. For comfort and prevention of injuries, follow these recommendations. Keep safe and healthy.